A new look at sleep apnea. Obstructive sleep apnea, OBS, is one of the most common sleep disorders that significantly increase the risk of diseases cardiovascular. So far, it has been treated primarily as a problem resulting from the anatomical structure and obstruction of the upper respiratory tract. The latest study by scientists from the Medical University of Wroclaw, in cooperation with researchers of the Institute of Immunology and Experimental Therapy, Ludwig Herzfeld of the Polish Academy of Sciences, however, proves that OBS also has important neurobiological and genetic basis. From the study, published in the prestigious journal Annals of Medicine shows that obstructive sleep apnea is closely related to dopamine concentration in the blood. It is one of the most important neurotransmitters in our body. It transmits signals between neurons, affecting our mood, energy level, ability to concentrate, as well as the rhythm of sleep and wakefulness. It is also important in motivational processes and in feeling pleasure. Just therefore, it is often called a reward molecule. Its operation is not limited however, only to the mental sphere. Dopamine also regulates many functions physiological, including breathing control and muscle tension. Hence she found herself under the microscope of scientists. Our study is groundbreaking and that's why it stayed accepted for publication in such a prestigious journal, provides one of authors, Professor Miesko Wikiuas, head of the department and department of dentistry Experimental Medical University of Wroclaw. This is the first such a comprehensive clinical trial that documented elevated levels dopamine in obstructive sleep apnea, as well as the role of specific polymorphism gene in potential modulation of disease severity as. Nearly 300 scientists participated in the study of Wroclaw scientists people. In 153 of them, the concentration of dopamine in the blood was determined in this group there were 96 patients diagnosed with sleep apnea and 57 healthy patients volunteers. In the second part of the project, covering 286 people, scientists gathered the analysis of genes related to dopamine metabolism. Special attention the so-called single nucleotide polymorphisms, SNPs, i.e. find one's differences in genetic material that may affect how genes work. Assessment the three most important ones were subjected to, COMT, encoding the enzyme responsible for decomposition dopamine, and DRD1 and DRD2, encoding receptors that respond to this neurotransmitter. It turned out that dopamine levels were present in patients with OSA visibly elevated. This relationship was independent of other factors and more often concerned men. Researchers also found that one of the receptor gene variants dopamine, DRD2RS1800497, may affect the course of the disease. Persons those with this version of the gene were more likely to experience more severe symptoms, the such as a larger number of episodes of apnea and shortness of breath and excitations. This means that specific genetic predispositions can potentially increase the risk of more serious development of OSA. According to the authors of the work, the research results change the way perception of obstructive sleep apnea. It cannot only be treated as a consequence of anatomical problems, is also a distinct disorder neurobiological and genetic background. Our findings could change the way doctors and scientists look at sleep apnea emphasizes Dr. Hav Helena Martinoas, Professor UMW. We show that this is not only a problem with airway patency, but also with neurochemistry and genetics. This opens a potential path to completely new methods of diagnosis and treatment of this disease adds. 
the results of this groundbreaking study allow you to think about new ones diagnostic methods are marked by Dr. Joanna Smarch. Level determination dopamine in the blood and the analysis of selected genes may complement each other in the future diagnostic gold standard, i.e. polysomnographic examinations. Research genetic, in turn, will allow us to identify patients at particular risk of severe the course of the disease, which will enable faster implementation of therapy and more effective monitoring ads. Therapeutic possibilities are equally promising. Modulating the dopaminergic pathway, for example with drugs acting on the D2 receptor, it may become an innovative supportive therapy patients with OBS are predicted by Professor Miesko Wikiuis. Integration neurobiology, genetics, and clinical practice make this study constitute an important step towards precision medicine in the treatment of obstructive apnea sleepy. In the future, this may mean better tailored diagnostics and treatment and therefore more effective help for patients and clear improving their quality of life is emphasized by the researcher.